this should be the last the last resort that they, before it gets to that point there should be so many things happening before it gets to that point that shouldn't always be the first and obvious answer to a teacher to just exclude the kid that I think if a person is doing something that they ain't supposed to you bring the right sort of people like whether it's mental health or or whatever it is, et cetera. But bring the right sort of person, sit that person down, speak to them. Could cause only then you would actually know what is actually going on in that person's life. I think schools should start putting into place reasonable adjustments. If there's kids that have um, learning difficulties or kids going through things at home, there needs to be some things in place, reasonable adjustments and help them through that process rather than excluding them. Exclusions, permanent exclusions should only come as a last resort in the worst case of scenarios, it's an emergency. I think there needs to be more safeguarding officers and counsellors, and I think there needs to be more young people ones, because I feel like young people can relate to other young people, because we're all in the same generation, it's easier. And I also feel like um, the policy needs to be changed, the school policy, and needs to be fair. It can't be black people have one and white people have one it can't be um, naughty kids have one and the good kids have one that like everyone just has that like it just has to be fair like they need to make it fair and understandable because people get excluded for really silly reasons and to them it's a big reason but that's that could affect a child's life forever so I feel like they like that really needs to be taken into consideration. The ho- the child's home life, if they're getting bullied, like what's going on with them? Because unfortunately, there could be a child getting really good grades that can be excluded because they've gone and had a fight or something, and that's just ruined their whole life.